is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Fascinating television for you this evening. Watch this. Thunderstorms developed just east of Pueblo this evening, and the light show was incredible. A few cloud to ground strikes, but a lot of the action was that cloud to cloud variety. Nature's fury is also nature's beauty. Look at it light up the sky. I could watch that for, you know, 10, 15 minutes right there, but you know, hey, only get three and a half minutes for this segment, so let's get going. A lot of rain in Canyon City today. Corey D shot this. About three tenths of an inch of water, some real small hail in parts of Canyon City, and Joe captured this from Glen Eagle earlier this evening. Beautiful shot of that rainbow. Downtown Colorado Springs dry right now. In fact, we're dry from Pleasant Valley to Interquest all the way to Shooks Run. 66 is the current temperature. You can still see that lightning popping live for you right now off to the east of Pueblo. What an incredible show that is. 72 degrees in the city, mostly clear skies right now. All right, here's what's going on. We've still got some thunderstorm activity popping across parts of the viewing area. All that stuff basically out over open country southeast of Pueblo. Still plenty of those cloud to ground lightning strikes and that's a flash flood warning for the spring burn scar that active until 1145 tonight. We've had reports of flooding in Forbes Park. That's just to the east of Fort Garland as you roll down La Vida Pass. Again, thunderstorms drifting off to the south and east and they'll diminish after midnight tonight. Tomorrow, high pressure, the key player for us. We'll have more of a downslope flow around here. What that'll do is scour out all this low level moisture available for thunder storms so thunderstorms tomorrow few and far between you get a big helping of sunshine temperatures tomorrow noticeably hotter compared to the past couple of days here's the way it shakes out hour by hour beautiful tomorrow morning 9 a.m temperatures into the mid 70s with nothing but sunshine we will start to see a few of those hit and miss showers thunder showers pop up tomorrow afternoon but again with the drier air consider yourself very lucky if you get any thunderstorm activity at all and by seven eight o'clock tomorrow evening still mostly clear to partly cloudy skies around here a little bit of a change for us as early as Thursday. This cool front's going to slip through more of a northerly flow, bringing in some cooler air for you Thursday and then again on Friday. Pueblo, 14 hundredths of an inch of water out at the airport today. Colorado Springs, 78 the official afternoon high temperature. Outside right now, it's just flat out gorgeous. Temperatures in the 50s, 60s, and 70s here across southeastern Colorado. Drier air pushing in overnight tonight, so a nice night. 55 in the springs, Pueblo dropping back to 58 degrees. It will be noticeably warm around here tomorrow. Blue skies, sunshine for your morning hours and those clouds start to build in tomorrow afternoon in Colorado Springs. Cooler still on Thursday with another dry day. Then thunderstorms back in the mix as early as Friday. A passing thunderstorm possible both weekend days. Nothing that would wipe out any plans you might be uh, developing right now. But again, a passing thunderstorm certainly possible. In Pueblo, July heat makes a big comeback tomorrow. Then that cold front rolls in with a cooling trend Thursday and Friday. Saturday, you'll give August a warm welcome. Best chance of rain will be Friday and then again on Sunday. It's a long shot at this point, but we'll stay on top of it. Certainly keep you updated. Otherwise, just hot and dry in Canyon City. More of that downslope flow tomorrow. That drier airflow coming down the mountains will push out that low level moisture. So you're hotter, you're drier. Chance of a passing PM thunderstorm over the weekend won't be much. Woodland Park dry and mild the next couple of days. Then a thunderstorm trifecta Friday, Saturday, Sunday afternoon. Rain and thunderstorms possible each day with a good looking group of temperatures over the next seven days. Mike.